Welcome to the Leo Maddox Show. Today we are reviewing these mini Teen Titans figures and they came out with a movie now. Yeah guys, Teen Titans the movie is coming out in the summer after Leo's birthday guys. We're definitely going to be going to it. Guys, leave this comment let us know anyway, if you are. there was a big thing going on. Another movie came out which is called Beast Boy and Robin in the Ginormous Blind Bags where Raven's dad and, Star and Robin's girlfriend are trapped in plastic bags. <laughs> yes. So guys, um, here, Leo, Leo and I are going to open one and then I'm going to show you guys how to tell what they are. If you guys are like me and you hate blind bags, uh, and I, I completely hate blind bags, guys. So I always try to find the codes and a lot of times they have codes. I don't think the Funkos do. Uh, bad Funko. Bad, bad, bad. So we're going to give randomly one to Leo, one to me, and we're just going to open these at the same time. Find the okay, so this one is, oh, it's my girl Starfire. So Starfire is for my office decoration. And there she is. And there's her pieces. We'll go through those in a second. Oh, and look, there's another arm. Okay, so guys, Leo's got Trigon. Okay, so we're gonna open that in a second. So as you guys can see here, hopefully you guys can see this, there is a series of numbers, okay? They're on this very bottom part right here. And this one, you can see is 0, 2, okay? It's always on this bottom part here under the barcode. So, if you guys look for those codes online, you can tell what they are from some of the other people. Starfire is 2, Trigon is, uh, you guys can barely see this here. Hopefully, let's see if we can find it here. Okay. So, you can see it over here, uh, just barely. This is 05. So this is Trigon, guys, uh, and, and if you look online for codes, um, that's how you can find those. So I'm going to assemble mine. So before we did the codes, I actually got Robin accidentally, guys, because I was trying to get that Beast Boy kitty, and I wanted it for Robin on accident, and there you can see it is Raven's Dad, Trigon, which is a request from Leo. So you guys look for the codes online, then you can kind of find everything. So. Here it is, we start with, and, and the one thing about these guys is that you can mix and match pieces. Uh, I don't like that, I obviously I want these just for my office display. But, whoa, but you can bang into the camera trying to assemble them. Awesome! Let's try it again guys. Okay, so all these do is just snap in. Like so, okay. And I got this because guys, if you saw our Funko, the Hero World Funko guys that we did, that video I didn't literally like the Starfire because you can't actually see her eyes her eyes are closed in that one and I don't want to paint eyes on so I wanted to get a second Starfire to kind of go and I've got a number of computers downstairs guys every one of them has its own desk so I've got a lot of real estate I really need to start decorating and Leo's quickly is gonna give me beat me beat me done here is he guys is he is he <sighs> No! Okay guys, so here's Starfire and we'll go through we'll go through close-ups of all these in a second. I got here. Trigon. Yeah, Leo's got Trigon. These things are cool guys. I think these are like two or three bucks. And I I like these except for you can see the middle section makes these guys look weird. Like you can see Starfire makes her look like oddly sort of fat. <laughs> <laughs> And it works for Trigon. Trigon's a really good figure. Uh, I almost wanted him too, but um, I'm going to wait to see if they come out with him in Hero World. I just don't know that they're going to have another another Starfire coming out anytime soon in that line. So I wanted to have <laughs> it makes her eyes bad. open. It makes Robin look bad. Now Funko, yeah, Funko has these... Uh, these raw candy figures, but they're only for female characters, guys. They're awesome, and I love those figures. But they're you also have your two office displays. But, but they're also okay, my office displays. But they're also five-inch figures, guys. 
Hero World is like I'm three gonna, inches. I'm gonna switch some stuff. And five inches is just a little bit too too big for um, too big, and it gets in the way of the monitors. So guys, let's do some close-ups here before Leo starts switching everything. And let's start with Starfire. So you can see thumbs on top, just like a normal hand. You can, of course, put the thumbs on the bottom if you want to give her curved hands, I guess. So, <laughs> obviously the face sculpt is all that really matters here. And these these things, I think, are pretty cool. Um, I like this. I like this one. I'm, I'm good with this one, guys. In the back, coloration's pretty good. Not bad. Okay, guys, this is the one that actually got me interested in the series. And this is, of course, Kitty Beast Boy. And I love this figure, guys. This is definitely one of my favorites. And Trigon. But I will say that nearly every figure I've seen of Beast Boy has been awesome, guys. He apparently lends himself really well. Tails painted on, but, you know, Beast Kitty, that's okay. Alrighty, and... Oh, you got Starfire? <laughs> okay, here's Trigon, guys. Oh, yeah, this is an awesome figure, too. Yeah, Trigon. Trigon is excellent, guys. Look at that. Whoa, this is a good figure too. If Leo didn't want this one, I'd definitely be taking this because I like this figure a lot also. Trigon's really good. Trigon, in fact, this weird body shape actually works really well with Trigon. This this might be this might be the overall best one out of all of them, actually. Leo Matic! Good choice, dude. And of course, handsome Robin guys from uh, this is when he had unmasked himself to show just how beautiful and chiseled his face was and stuff. I will say this this sort of goofy body style actually works really well with his head. So you can see this. His cape does come off, guys, uh, as well. So I don't know. Can you give... Oh, you can. Can you? Let's see. Oh, you can. Leo, you can give his cape. You can give his cape to, like, Beast Boy. You have to turn this around to the back. But you can give that to Beast Boy. I don't know if you can give it to Starfire though. Probably not. Her hair would get in the way. But you can... You, oh, wow. Oh. Guys, that is cool. So this is kind of like the... Sort of like the Roblox system, guys. Where you can just take the figures and just go crazy with them. I'm going to give Robin. I'm going to give him that. But there are... So, so Leah's going to do this. So there are, guys, some fairly heavy stylization choices to all these figures. Uh, the series two, and I'm not in love with all of them, guys. To be honest with you, um, I think that Beast Boy as Beast Kitty works pretty well. Trigon works awesome. Robin, not bad. If you want the handsome Robin, uh, Starfire. You, you guys, Starfire is a tough character. She she's tough to do well. I think for a lot of companies. A lot of the Starfires I've seen I've not been in love with, uh, and of course there's there's pig holes, I guess you guys can put them on stands, although I don't know why you need to, they stand pretty well by themselves. Uh, in fact, there I just knock it over while I tell you that. So... Look what I'm doing, I'm making Robin a new suit. Oh yeah, that's a cool idea. I'm giving a Trigon suit, with the same arms. And they snap together pretty well, guys. So these these can be a little bit of a struggle to take apart after you've got them slapped together. Uh, and I think that's pretty good because it sort of helps you from pieces floating around all over the place. I introduce you to New Suit Robin. Or... New Suit Robin, okay. I'm going to make it... Trigon with... <laughs> and there, and there's the guys. There's a lot of really cool Teen Titans stuff coming out. Guys, I'm totally amped for the summer, guys, for a couple reasons. First, I'm hoping we get new Teen Titans toys. The Teen Titans Go toys, got not, not Teen Titans, but the Teen Titans Go. I'm hoping we get more toys from that. And also, guys, the last thing I've heard for a release date, which isn't related to Teen Titans Go, but I'm still excited about it, guys, is Unikitty toys, guys, are coming out supposedly the next month Here's after the new, movie. Take a look at the new character I made. Oh, that's nice, dude. Let's put him right next to it. So, guys... Uh, let us know. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you're excited about that too. But that's a good whammy. One after the other. T Titans go in July, the movie, and Unikitty the toys coming out in August, guys. And hopefully there will be more T Titans go toys as well. And I introduce you to Dry Robin. Try Robin. Try Robin. Okay, let's put him down so we can see him. 
Oh, and yeah. And I'm going to big smash these. Oh, not my office figures. No! I'm going to make Starfire have Beast Boy's body. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Guys, I'm going to continue to tell you about all the stuff I'm excited about while Leo dismantles my toys. <laughs> awesome. I'm dismantling them to make new characters. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, that's the whole point of this, right? That's why they're here, guys. That's why they're here. So guys, leave me a, leave us a comment and let us know if you are excited about that stuff that's coming up also. Guys, I've still got space downstairs in my uh, in my office down in Spider Central, guys. And believe me, there's a lot of cool stuff coming for the channel, guys, as we start, start to fill out. I obviously will not have nowhere near as many toys, guys, as Leo because they're I'm just using them for display. So I'm not quite as... I, I'm actually more fussy, guys, about what I'm putting up. I'm like really particular about those things, but there's a lot less of them because I don't need, you know, to have just tons and tons and tons of stuff. But we also now have got a new shelf downstairs. Here's a new. Here's a new character. That's His name is B Star. <laughs> that we. <laughs> that there is some new shelves, guys. That we're doing uh, some different displays on. Beast Star. Beast Star. Right there next to. New, uh, next to Demon Robin. <laughs> Demon Robin? He does, he does kind of look in that, in that, uh, in that sculpt kind of demonic. I, I will give you that. I will give you that. So guys, but yeah, this is, these are cool. Uh, if you see these, definitely, unless you want the whole series, but even then, okay, the one of the things I hate about blind bags, right, is you wind up buying the exact same figure like 15 different times before you finally get the one you want, which is dumb. I mean, who wants to do that, right? So blind bags, guys, conceptually are annoying to me because, like, I want the figure I want. I don't want to go through a whole bunch of of um, un, un, unmarked packaging to try to find the one figure I want, you know? And in that case, guys, you could be buying, you know, like, literally hundreds of these stupid things before you found the ones you actually wanted, you know? And, and so you can make a bunch of monsters like Leo's doing, but... At some space, you know, at some level, guys, you're going to have a problem with floor space, you know, when it gets to that. So, blind bags, to me, I don't understand the point of. I think they're just obnoxious. But when you got these cool figures, uh, it's definitely worthwhile to go online and go look through, um, you know, some of the different forums, like actionfigures.com, I think, is a forum that we utilize for, for some of the information on these. We haven't got to Series 3 yet, try, guys. Try Robin. I'm still, <laughs> try Robin. I'm still actually trying to find Series 3, guys, but when I find them in a brick and mortar, well, believe me, guys, we'll be going through all those uh, as well because there's only like three of them I want at all out of Series 3. So in Series 1, I haven't seen anywhere. I think those are done. But yeah, the whole point of, of blind bags, guys, just doesn't make sense to me. But if you understand a little bit better than I do, Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know. Maybe, maybe you guys have some insight that uh, we don't have. Because I truly don't understand the appeal of blind bags. Unless you, I mean, it's like literally. We're gonna well, give. Him. You know, and you could do that, right? I mean, you you guys could do a blind bag yourselves. Just blindfold yourselves, walk into the nearest toy aisle, and then just pick something randomly off the shelf. You know, it's like you could be a blind buyer or whatever, right? This is. This is. This is the new B star because I had to give star. him that head because it's too hard to put on Starfire's head on. Yeah, Starfire's head is tricky because of that huge hairpiece, and it, Trigon is a little bit different. His hairpiece isn't quite as big, but Starfire's it's a pretty enormous hairpiece. Ugh! Need some help making B star. <laughs> B star, okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna plop on Starfire's head here, and we are going to make. B star. And there we go. These are the new form characters. Or if you want, you can call uh, you can call her Lion Soup Starfire. Lion Soup Starfire. No. <laughs> okay, guys, Lion Soup Starfire. <laughs> not Lion. Come on down. Not, not Lion Soup Starfire. It, it's it's um. What is it? You say it's. It's it's slime soup. Oh, that's slime soup. Starfire or Star Beast. Star Beast. Okay, I kind I kind of like lion soup better, guys. Please comment let us know <laughs> which one you prefer, and put them back over there by uh, Beast Boy. And uh, yeah, there we are. There it is, guys. Let's get a close up of these. These are Leo's creations, guys. 
Uh, and we are going to transform them back into the original forms in one, two, three. And there it is, guys. They're all back to normal. Anyway, that's going to do it for us, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at ours at the Series 2 Teen Titans Go minifigure blind bag things. And, of course, in Series 2, we also have Mammoth and Gizmo and Red Cyborg and from the Stressed Out Cyborg and, of course, Pink Raven from when she got split. Uh, so this is from Mattel, guys. So, anyway, these are pretty cool, guys. Uh, definitely, we would encourage you guys to pick these up. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for us this time, guys. Oh, if, you, oh. if you guys enjoyed the look at these guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button, guys, if you have not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you guys would like to be notified of the latest and greatest content as it becomes available. Guys, follow us on our Twitter feed if you guys would care to. For the latest and greatest Updates to the channel as they are made in live and direct time, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you guys like these. If you're excited for the new Teen Titans Go movie coming out. Uh, guys, we can talk about Unikitty. Leave us a comment about Unikitty if you want to. In fact, you can leave us a, kitty, a comment about Unikitty in every single video we do, guys, if you really want to. We don't mind. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys have got some of these. If you have not, guys, and are interested, leave us a comment. Let us know. Let us know who your favorite is. I'm making from series I'm one, making, two, I'm making, and three, guys. I'm making Demon Robin. Demon Robin is being produced as we speak, guys. Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. Let us know. We would love to hear from you. But that is going to wrap it up now. We will see you all next time. Mattel. 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 Bye-bye. Mattel.